Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you 10 ways in which you can either make money in the army, use the army for benefits that you probably didn't even know existed, or save extra money whilst you're in the military. So let's get straight into it. And point number one is forces help to buy scheme. The forces help to buy scheme is really good and it wants to help soldiers of any age, as long as you've got a certain amount of time left in the army and wish to repay the loan back to buy a house. So the military will uh, loan you either 50% of your salary and that will be uh, no more, however, than 19 and a half grand. And there's a really, really good percentage rate in which you pay that money back. I wasn't uh, able to use it because before they brought the Forces Help to Buy scheme in, I'd already had a couple of houses, so I couldn't use it. But a lot of my friends have used it. They find it really beneficial and the money automatically comes out of your pay. So I would really advise if you don't have a house to jump on that as soon as possible. Okay, so point number two is get your home allowance. So you've used the help to buy scheme, you've got a house and you're not renting it out because you want to go back there on weekends or something just to get out of camp. So what the army will do is pay you a certain amount of money each month to enable you to go back home. It's absolutely brilliant. So that's something you've got to do. So the, all you need is um, like an electricity bill with your name on it and a council tax with your name on it to prove you've got a house and the army will pay, uh, give you some money each month in order to get you back home to go towards petrol and, and wear and tear on the house. So that's another good one. Number three, your enhanced learning credits or your standard learning credits. The army wants soldiers who are educated, but in different skills as well. So therefore, your enhanced learning cred credits, you can use up to three times throughout your career, and they will pay a vast majority of a degree, should you want to do it. I've used it, it was absolutely amazing. They paid like 90% of that degree. So say a degree cost you like three grand, I only have to pay the 300 pounds uh, to finish it, to finish the payment off, so it's brilliant. Also what you've got as well is standard learning credits for shorter courses. I've used that, I did a plastering course in order to um, plaster houses and stuff, but it turned out I was rubbish at plastering, so I gave it a go like once or twice and it generally uh, wasn't for me. But you can do absolutely anything. If you want to buy a house or something like that to do it up, then you can go and do a couple of weeks courses on things like plastering, painting and decorating, and the army will pay towards that as well. So that's something you really need to use is your standing learning credits. Point number four is making a claim. So if you've been told that you're going on a course and you've got to travel to this course, and before you get there, you need to eat dinner or lunch. You can buy it, keep the receipts and claim that money back because you're technically on duty when you're when you're traveling on a course or you're traveling on exercise. You can claim that money back. So keep your, rece your receipts, claim it back. It's an extra way to make a little bit of money. Uh, number five, if you don't have a passport, at this moment in time, and they are quite expensive, like 70 odd quid. If you don't have a passport and you've been told you're going overseas by the military, they will pay for your passport. So if you don't have a passport at this moment in time, and you don't know whether to get one, then chances are, if you are going overseas, the army are gonna pay for it anyway. So that's another way you're gonna save some money on there. Okay, next one. People don't do it because they don't know about it, and that is disturbance allowance. So when you go from basic training to, say, phase two, you can claim a certain amount of money called disturbance allowance because you're moving from one unit to another unit. So you might get an assignment order from basic training 
two phase two sit Blanford. You can claim money for that. If you're single and you're going into married, um, if you're single and you're going into single accommodation, it's only about £100. But no one ever claims for it. It's maddening. If you're, if you're married and you go from one married quarter to another married quarter, then you get about £900. Um, this is because you need to change, you might need to change electricity provider and you sometimes you will have to pay extra if you're closing down contracts early like Sky or whatever and you can't move it between houses. The army understand this and they'll give you money. But also it's available for single people as well, moving from one room to another room in a block as long as you've been told to do that you've got an assignment order you can claim the money so whenever you get your assignment order you go from one place to another claim your disturbance allowance better in your pocket than theirs okay number seven this one is say you're going on tour and you're not going to use your car for six months statutory off-road notification your vehicle which then means you won't have to pay tax on it so you're saving yourself say you're paying tax by direct debit 20 odd quid a month you're saving yourself 20 quid a month by not paying tax because your car's off-road put a halt on your insurance as well just all little things like that if you're going to be out of the country for six months and you're not going to use your car just put a halt on paying for everything and save the money for yourself Okay, number eight is CEA, Child Education Allowance. If you want to send your children to private school, which is what I do, the army will pay up to 92% of those fees. Then you make the contribution of the rest. Just to let you know, it is expensive, um, but it is there for everybody to use. So you can have a look at that. If you have children, you think you can afford it, the extra payments then I would certainly have a look into it because the schools that the army can send your children to are absolutely amazing. Okay, number nine, discounts. You get a lot of discounts from companies just for being in the forces. So on my phone contracts for me, my wife and my two kids, Vodafone give you a 15% discount on your phone bills so if any of you guys are with vodafone now and i would imagine the likes of ee and that do it as well um when you renew your contract give them a ring tell them you're in your uh, you're in the forces all you have to do is send them an email an email from your army email account then they'll apply a 15 percent discount to your phone bill that's another good way of saving some cash Number 10 is home to duty allowance. Right, so you've bought a house and you decide you're gonna travel, you're gonna live in that house during, um, while you're working, whichever unit you're based at, the army will pay for you daily to get to and from work as well if you choose not to live on an army establishment. So that's something else some people don't think about. One other one as well, so this is, well, a bonus one. I love doing bonus ones. Another bonus one is when you go on tour and exercise, you get LSA, you get extra bit of money for being away or what they call out of bed um, at, at, for a certain amount of time. So start off on like a fiver a day, but when you go up and you hit different bands, once you've done 200 days out of bed, you're looking at six, seven quid a day, 400, you're looking at eight or nine pounds a day, 600, 10 or 11, 800, 12 or 13 pounds a day. So if you can just get out on tour as much as possible, get out and exercise as much as possible, all those days add up and then suddenly you're getting 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, it goes up to like what, 30 or 40 quid a day extra on top of your pay just for being out on exercise or out on tour. That's another way. That's a way a lot of people save a lot of money when they go out on tour as well. So there's 10 points with a bonus 11 one, which is really good, just popped into my head then, that you can make extra money in the army and save a lot of money in the army as well so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and also if you come across this video and you don't know whether to join the army or not hopefully this might have twisted your arm but if you want to um if you have any questions please just message me in the comment section below and i'll get back to you 100 uh, as soon as possible other than that have a good weekend take care bye